Hey guys, it's Gina and I am working on the second challenge for the Remember Every Day website today. And Shelly and I decided that we would have two challenges a month. One would stay the same every month and that would be to use our silhouette. And then the other challenge we would change every month. And uh, this month we picked stitching on a layout as part of our challenge. And when I, when I, said to Shelly that we should use that um, as our challenge. I really anticipated using my sewing machine. And the thing intimidates me so bad that I decided, like I was like completely blocked to do this layout. And then Shelly was like, you don't have to use the sewing machine. You can just sew on your layout. So I have all of these Amy Tangerine like stencil sew sewing templates. And not only Amy Tangerine, but they're like, uh, Basil had some way back when and just a whole bunch. This is not part of that. Um, just a whole bunch of these stencils. And so I decided that I would use this one. This one right here. This is an Amy Tangerine stencil. And in the kits, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. I've had them forever and this is the first time I've used them. But you get this little pokey pad and you get this little pokey tool. And I... I love that name, um, the Pokey Tool, and I got that from Nancy. And if you haven't seen Nancy, her name is Kitty Scrapper on YouTube. But I cannot take um, credit for saying Pokey Tool because I, the, I first heard that um, with her. But it comes with a Pokey Tool. And then you just basically lay the, the mat underneath your paper. And then you just punch the holes and then go through and sew it. And then the kits come with the needles and some... Um, of this floss, but I didn't like the color of the floss. It was a little too dark pink for me. So I just pulled some, um, you know, we all have this floss hanging around and I thought I kept the, yeah, here we go. So who made this? Let's see. It is by DMC who makes a lot of floss and this is their, they always give them a number, right? Maybe it's on the other one. Yeah. So um, it's number 3708 for DMC Floss, and it's this light pink color, and I really like that. I am scrapbooking this photo here of Stu and I. We went on a trip down to Baltimore City to the Hippodrome to see a play or a musical. And uh, so I, I've already started this because I wanted my stitching done before I started uh, to talk to you. So I'm using this piece of crepe paper confetti. It's from the confetti collection by crepe paper. It's called Sparkling. And I loved those like triangle, um, like little gold sparkles there, you can see. And I've already backed my photo. I put my photo on that mat. And that mat is from this paper from Crate Paper. This is the Journey Collection. Oh, is that Journey too? No, that's confetti and it's called Sparkling. This is from the Journey Collection. It's called Happy Camper. So it has these uh, like little RVs on the back and then this pink. And I know this pink is darker than the pink I used in my thread, but it was just a little bit around the photo. So I was happy with that. And I decided that I would start my embellishment uh, sections, my little embellishment clusters with this, with the stitching. So that's as far as I've gotten, and um, I'm going to cut the branding strip off of the bottom of this paper. And then this little die cut, see this little die cut here. So I'm using a click kit that I got a million years ago, um, and it was just sitting on my, sitting in my kit stash, and... I decided that I would just pull it out and use it. This paper is not from that. Um, the Happy Camper Collection is, but this this particular piece of paper is not from that kit. But it came with this little, where is that? This little fire, and I'm gonna use that in my next layout. So uh, this is the start, and I'm not sure where I'm going from here. Uh, the kit came with all these little die cuts here, and I don't know what I'm gonna title it. Like, I have no idea what's going on, um, you know. It's typically how I do it. I like this. Uh, this is from Scraptastic. It says, love your selfie. It's a bit stark on this background, so we'll probably add some ink to that. But I'm thinking I'm going to use that, but I don't know what color. I have to think of another color that I want to use. So I have the gold and this nice gray and then the three um, pink. But I don't know what I'm going to use, but the, the kit came with all of these little die cuts. And I had the thought that I would line up all these little arrows that came in the kit 
or at least three of them. I thought about using this camera and then just making that the bottom of my page. So not, not anything too crazy. Um, and I think I'm just going to go with that and, and put that down right away. And I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono permanent. It's Tombow, I believe. Yes. This is the permanent one. This is, so they have, Tombow has three different types of adhesives that come in that. It's, this is the solid tape. This, uh, the pink one is the dot adhesive. And I really should have used the dot adhesive for this, but as you can see, mine is out. And, um, I'm too lazy to go across the room and get a refill. So, um, I'm just getting adhesive all over my mat here. That's okay. And then this one is the, uh, removable adhesive. So... Tombow has three of them. It is my favorite adhesive. It is the adhesive I have been using, ooh, I would have to say since I started scrapbooking. Then for this little piece that's translucent, you can actually see through it, I'm gonna use this vellum um, adhesive and it works really good. I wish I could remember and tell you uh, who makes this, but of course I can't. And the adhesive comes off the backing really easy. So I end up getting my fingers glued together, but it's fine because you can't see, see through it. Like you can't see it through the die cut. So it comes off on this like little, you gotta brand it a little bit, like brandish it, I think is the word. And pull that off, ah, like that. So it comes off really nicely. And I kinda wanna try as much as I can to keep the angles, and see, you can't see that adhesive through underneath that at all. I kinda wanna try to keep, well, I wanted to put that camera down there, so I gotta make sure the camera's gonna fit. But I know that they're shooting off the page, but I didn't want the angles to compete with the angle of this chevron triangle-like thing. So I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm just wondering now, do I want to put the camera up on dimensional adhesive and put some dimension down here? I don't think I do, and the reason I don't think I do is because I think if I pull, I don't want to pull too much emphasis. I don't want to pull, um, I don't want to have this be a big... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I don't want this part of the layout to be, you know, the focal point. So I don't want to add too much dimension and things to it so that it would pull the eye from the photo. So I'm just going to put that down flat as well. And it says memories on it on the camera and it says picture perfect, which is per which is great. And like I said, if, if I was um, not lazy, I would get up and get, go get a dot roller because dots work so much better. Because when you use a dot roller, it's only going to stick the places on the die cut not on my craft mat my craft mat's getting a little you know all right trying to keep those angles as you know and I know it's kind of pointing off the page but we're just going to pretend it's pointing to the word love and go with it so I think that's the bottom of the layout and so obviously I pulled in this turquoise kind of color this turquoise so I'm going to pull this I love your selfie thing up I'm going to get myself a piece of paper I keep this if I can get it off of the little clip. I keep this, um, what do you call these things? These clipboards. I keep one of these next to my scrap desk so I can write down all of the products that I use. Nothing fancy, just some printer paper, but because I'm gonna do some inking now, I want to kind of try to protect my craft mat because we're gonna ink that up with some ink. And I think I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay from or, no, yeah, I think Bermuda Bay, because Tempting Turquoise is there as well. Um, but I think I'm going to use Bermuda Bay from Stampin' Up. And then I have a... Every time I use Stampin' Up inks, I get ink all over myself. I don't know why. It just sort of happens. And then I have a dauber somewhere. Here we go. My little dauber case. And then I'm just going to add some color, not too dark, I'm just going to go through and I don't need to, you know, color down below too much because I'm going to layer this underneath the photo. So I don't need to cover the whole thing, but I'm just going to go through, there we go. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to close this because I forever get ink all over my fingers. I'm going to put this away. I forever get ink all over my fingers um, when I use Stampin' Up! inks. I, I don't know why. So I'm going to put... Now, of course, the ink is wet. And I'm going to put some adhesive on here. It's probably not... Oh, it did stick. Wow. Made a liar out of me. Okay. 
So we're gonna, now I guess it's time. I, I need to put some adhesive on my photo. I'm just gonna put adhesive in the center because I don't know how much I'm gonna layer underneath of this photo. So we'll try to put it straight in there. Try to line it up pretty well. And then not get my inky fingers on it. And then we're gonna slide this right underneath there. And it's, the, the color is not perfect, like, you know, but I kind of like that it's sort of marbly, if that's, that's the word we're going to go with. It's kind of marbly, and I like that. So it kind of balances out those, those colors now. I have this You and Me flare that I want to use, and I'm glad that it brought that turquoise in. And it does bring a little bit of blue in there, but uh, that's okay. Um, there was a... I'm just going to use a little tag up here, and I guess I changed my mind. So I, I kind of like this you are here, but I want to layer something underneath of it, maybe. Maybe this. Oh, here was the tag I was going to use. I already put it together. So it brings in that, this, um, you know, these this glittery gold, and then it has smile. I use this freckled fawn puffy sticker that says moi. Like, you know, you're kissing or whatever. And this one I think I'm going to put up on some dimensional adhesive, because I just want it right here in this negative part of the photo, just like that. But I'm going to take some of that, do, do I wanna put that floss? Because I have that already up there, so I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna put floss through it. Now my question is, do I wanna cut the top of the tag off? No, because I think that will look awkward, but I am gonna put it up on some dimensional adhesive. This is also across the room, and I need to go get it. I need to go get some, but um, I like to use like the entire sheet. These are Stampin' Up, Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, I don't buy a lot of products from Stampin' Up, but I definitely buy their Stampin' Dimensionals and their inks. I very much like that. And then I need to put some adhesive, I think I was playing around I need to put a little bit of this vellum adhesive behind this smile dike, this smile like uh, vellum shape because I don't think I put any adhesive down it down on on there. I just it's kind of hold held on by that freckled fawn puffy sticker. I love that vellum adhesive. I really do. I wish I could tell you where I got it. I bought it at Michaels, I think, and it just says it's on this like little tube here. I don't even know who makes it. American Crafts, maybe? I don't even know. I wish I had saved the packaging. You know me. <laughs> you guys know me. I probably have it. Um, I probably have more than just one. So I'll try to look for that. And if I find it, I will put it in the supply list on the blog post. So we're just going to layer that guy right here. And I may put like a little enamel dot in there or something to cover that hole because I don't really like it, but I do like that. So I think my cluster up here is done. I may stick some, um, I may pull out some enamel dots. Yeah, here's some enamel dots from Simple Stories from the Enchanted Collection. And I think I might... Just put an enamel dot over that, and then maybe put some of these little ones, maybe one of these little ones here. There. So I think that's, I think that is good. I'm not doing a whole lot. I am going to journal, maybe right in this area, or maybe over here, but it, um, I don't know if I want a title or not. We're, I'm going to have to think about that, if I want to put a title on this. Oh, can I please get rid of this Echo Park sheet? Like, I just... My next Project Life spread, I'm using the rest of these chipboards. I don't care if they make sense or not. I just want it gone. It's been sitting on my desk forever. It's driving me crazy. Uh, there were a couple of flare badges that I saw in this collection, but you know, I never made up my mind about a... Uh, I never really made up my mind about a title. So I don't know if I'm going to put a title on this layout or not. We did go to the theater. So maybe this ticket, it doesn't match very well. But I need to add some gold down here and some turquoise. And oh, uh, I don't need turquoise in that corner, but I think that up th being up there is okay. This, I think I could use for my, 
I was going to say I could use this for my journaling, but I don't know if you guys can see, but those lines go the wrong way. So that's not going to work. I do have some other things. Let's see what's in here. I've kept these little... I got these at Hobby Lobby. No, I got these. These are from... Who made these? These are the American Crafts DIY shop, and they're these little mason jar thingies, and I got them at Tuesday morning for $5, and I got three of them. And one of them has, like, all tags in it, and then the other one has, like, bows and stuff. It's called the... This is the mini card one. This one is tags. And then this one didn't have the little round... It didn't have the tag on it to tell me what collection it was, but it's got all these cute little things in it. And maybe... I want to see what the number is. So they have these acrylic uh, cutout numbers, and I wanted to see what color the... Oh, the two's in yellow. That's not going to work. All right, then we'll just put that... Out. Let me put it away. Let me be somewhat responsible and not leave my work area a mess when I'm done, which is typically what I do. I have another idea for a title for this layout. That flare I wanted to use says you and me. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Here it is. It says you and me. I may just stick that right there. It's got all these cute little clips. The ampersand for these clips is in this, um, is in a nice color for my layout. I'm not sure, but it matches very well. So if I wanted to make it you and me with that clip, I don't, I, I like that there. And then, the bad thing is, I love this My Heart is Full from this crepe paper collection. The problem is, everything else on this layout is very white. And this is a cream background. But let me see if I can... Let's see what it looks like. It's not going to hurt to look, right? And the nice thing about these crepe paper things is they never... They don't stick very well, so I could always... I could put that up on some dimensional adhesive and maybe make that my title. Maybe put it like that. You know what? I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, we're going to keep that and just leave that right like that. But I think, I mean, there's some parts in here I need to pull out. Sometimes I'm like in a totally embellishing mood and like I just embellish and embellish and embellish and embellish. And then other times it's kind of like, I don't know, you know, it kind of, it kind of looks good just the way it is. And I think with this huge amount of gold glitter, um, I don't want this to be very busy. These are some Amy Tan things. I could use this Lucky Love, too. I'll never stop loving. I don't know. I like that My Heart is Full, though. I think we're going to stick with it. I think I'm going to put it up on Dimensional Adhesive, though. But I think we're going to stick with it and put it right there. And that's going to be our title. So let me find some dimensional adhesive that I can layer around on this thing. Just put this up on some dimensional adhesive. I don't know how much it's going to take to put it up. I don't like things to collapse in my book, so you guys know that I am pretty much, uh, like, I put too much adhesive on my projects most of the time, but I don't, I just don't want them to fall while they're in the books, you know? I'm just gonna put this, like, I'm just tearing this apart, like, this is just leftover offcuts of this adhesive, so I'm not too, too worried 
about how much I'm using here. All right. And then I need some more for this section over here. And I love using the whole sheet of adhesive. I don't, um, I don't mess around um, and waste adhesive, you know. Come on. It's, see, the problem is it's just all so sticky. Put this one this way here. I don't want the adhesive. I don't want you to be able to see the adhesive on the other side. So it just takes a little bit of finagling with this. Here we go. This is a nice piece. Put that right in there. And for most people, that's probably plenty, but, you know, not for me. <laughs> I have to, like, make sure that it's not going to fall when I put it in my book. And I stand my books up. I mean, they, they, um, they rest, I mean, they rest standing up. I don't, I definitely don't, um, lay them down, but I just don't like to see when they collapse, you know, when your die cuts and all, you know, your, your dimensional, um, pieces on your layout. I just don't like it when they collapse in the book like it makes me crazy and when they collapse there's very little you can do because it's already you know it's already you know layered down there okay I think I think the adhesive um I think the adhesive is good now <laughs> let me just make sure I got all the backing off yeah okay now we're going to lay this so that F dips into the dip of the heart and I want it to be a little bit straight. So I'm going to leave it like that. We're going to put that on there like so. I like that. I just wish I should have used, I'm going to pull these enamel dots up because I want to, I don't want to use pink. I want to use turquoise. So I'm going to have to get up and go get those. I should probably get some more adhesive while I'm over on that side of my room. I love the flare from Scraptastic. This is this you and me is a flare from Scriptastic, and I can tell because I, I belong to two kit clubs. One of them is well, I used to. I, I have since quit them both, but one of them is the Click Kit, and the Click Kit has a very it's a straight back. See this? Like it is not. It's a straight back. It's a full back. Scraptastics are a bit concave, so I have to use these dimensional glue dots to get, this is the best way I've found to stick them down for the Scraptastic. I love their flare, it's very cute. But um, you have to put a couple layers, you either have to put a couple of layers of, of dimensional adhesive under there, but I find these dimensional glue dots to work the best once you get the backing off. There we go. And I'm, I, I was thinking about layering something under here, but I'm just not sure now, let me see. I still haven't done any journaling on this layout. So I want to add that little, I would cut it off, obviously. Maybe pull it up here. And put this here. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's okay. We're going to lay that down and then I'm going to cut this off with some scissors. And I'll put that down with some adhesive. Like this. Try to get that as straight as possible. That's good. I had some more flare. I'm gonna get some enamel dots in a second. And to make this look like it goes more with this, I'm gonna take some gold stickles. This is platinum. I'm gonna take some gold stickles when I'm finished and I'm gonna lay a line of gold stickles along that just to make sure, it, you know, this doesn't, cause it is looking a bit like it's not, it doesn't flow. Let me go get some turquoise enamel, enamel dots. Okie dokie. All 
right, so these are from Freckled Fawn. These are turquoise enamel dots. I think this will look better. I think it'll pull these colors together better. They don't have any tiny little ones, though. I do have others, but... Now, do I want to use this color? Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we'll just throw one of these. Use the two different color turquoises. Nope, I think I like the dark one better. And I'm going to have to put this down. This one that's going to sit on that gold, I'm going to have to put some more adhesive on it. So here's my glossy accents. I put a pin in it. Can you see it? And now, I, you guys are brilliant. Because whoever told me to do that, it never gets stuck now. It's fabulous. Except for the fact that it's covering a hole. So if I want it to stick down there. There we go. Just because things don't stick to that glitter. And then I just throw this needle back in here. And my glossy accents is always ready to go. It's fantastic. All right. And then maybe we'll put a little bit of turquoise on the camera. I always like want to see three, you know, like. Maybe here. And then one there, perhaps. And then I don't know. I think some journaling, maybe. There isn't, I mean, there isn't a lot to say about this photo. I mean, we're in a, in a hotel room. I thought about maybe using this little bow. We have this little pink bow here. I thought about maybe throwing that up somewhere. It doesn't really look great, so I'm going to say no to that. Anything else I want to add to this layout? I have this forever. Probably should have thought about that beforehand if I was going to use it. Um, there's a remember I have in that nice pink. That kind of reads like remember, love your selfie, and I don't really like that. I do have some wood veneer over here. Insta love. I'm just going around now and just looking to see if there's anything else. Does that add or take away? You know, if I add more arrows, does it add to the design or does it take away from it? And for now, I don't know. I think this one's done. I'm going to add some journaling. I don't know where yet. Let's get out my journaling pen. I just bought, I just bought pens to journal. I need to find them. They're in one of my office bags because I love these Stetler Tri Plus Fine Liners for journaling. But because I push so hard when I write, I've cracked the top. You know, it's a little, it's a little, it's not foam, but I don't know what it's called. But it's, um, but I've cracked it. And I just looked over my room. I just looked over and I have these. It's chunky glitter though and I don't. That's why they're kind of still sitting here, because they're chunky glitter, and I'm not a big fan of chunky glitter. I have these Maggie Holmes ones, too. Let me pull them out and see. I do this all the time. Like, it is so frustrating. Here we go. Got some gold here. Yeah, I think we might be able to use one or two of these. This is Maggie Holmes' open book. The stickers from that. And, um... That one's a bit too big. Um, what else do we got up there? This one says Our Story, which I kind of like. I think, I, I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot of layering on this layout, so I think I could just put these down wherever I want. So that one says our story. Just bring some more gold 
into the layout. Um, so our story, and then we have, I could do smile here, or maybe, let's see. I like the XOXO. Maybe put that one right here in this negative space on the photo. Put that right there. I don't know what that is, but it needs to go away. Where are my tweezers? I don't know what I've done with my tweezers. Oh, it's from that thing. All right, I like the XOXO, and then maybe just another little word right here. Maybe right in there or right above the camera. Mm, maybe fun. Right here or there? Right here. Fun we'll put here. And then I think this lovely I'm going to throw right down here. So they kind of come down. No, lovely's too big. Oh, there's a love or favorite. Let's put favorite down here. There we go. So they will come down the page like that. I like that. Now we're going to go back to the journaling. I don't know where to put it. Maybe right over there. In here maybe. Where do you think we should put it? I could run it down this way, but that would be very hard to read in my book. All right, I'm going to put it there's not a lot of journaling on this page because there's going to be other layouts that go along with this. So there's not going to be a lot of uh, journaling, but um, let's see. Where would I like to put it? I could maybe write it here. Yeah, let's write it. The only black I have on the page is there. And if I put it here, I think I'm making this side of the page a bit too heavy. What if I just wrote it right in this little spot in? Maybe right down at the bottom. I'll just write it here. And I have to go look up the date for this layout. All right. So I just said, Stu and I at the Marriott downtown and impromptu night in Baltimore after play at the Hippodrome. So we went down for the play and then just decided to spend the night down there. So we had like no clothes, nothing. Um, but we just decided, because we live about an hour from downtown Baltimore, so we just decided we would just stay down there. And like I said, I'm going to take this, where's that paper I was using? I'm going to take this glossy accents and I'm just going to run it along the top of this ticket to make it appear, to make it, you know, so this ticket fits right in. I want it to run along the whole top. That'll make it a mess. And then I'm going to have to go set this layout somewhere where I can't touch it because inevitably I will mess that up. So that is the layout to, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Can you see the glossy accents? Right there. So here's some close-ups. I should probably do that more often. Like run you through the close-ups on film like a lot of other people do. There's not much on that side. But my, my cord is right in the way. <laughs> and there's the bottom. I didn't want, you know, you to take too much emphasis away from the photo, but definitely wanted to fill in that space. And there's my Stubert and me. And I really like how that turned out to use that as the, um, isn't it funny how sometimes the, like, things you're not even thinking about turn out to be such a great thing, like, on your layout. So, like I said, I'm going to go hide this from myself before I mess up those stickles. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.